Hi, thanks for coming back. This is uh, the third part of the demonstration on how to paint a simple barn. I am using a, a, a color that's a, a combination of cobalt blue and cerulean blue, and I'm just running it across the top. Uh, I'm holding the paper on about a 45 degree angle because I want gravity to help me propel the paint down the page. Uh, that'll make for a nice smooth finish. And uh, as you can see, as I go across, the water is beating up at the bottom, which is exactly what you want. And then you just draw, just paint the line across like that. So and each, with each successive line down, I'm just picking up that bead and uh, I'm only adding water and color when that bead kind of uh, is finished. So I carefully go around my objects and uh, you know we're going to keep the sky uh, just a flat a flat blue but if you wanted to you could uh, just add some uh, add some turquoise greens or other colors into the sky it doesn't matter uh, I like to keep my uh, keep the skies as simple as possible and uh, now that the blue is done what I'm going to do is I'll pick up some green and I'll just paint all the, all the trees the same color of green. It's like a bright sap green, but this will form the base of the color of each tree. Uh, when, that's, when I'm done coloring all the trees, I'll, I'll charge that color by putting a, a little yellow ochre into it and uh, a little bit of orange. And I will paint the buildings uh, orangey red and uh, the grass yellow uh, you know, brownish yellow with a little green in it and uh, that's it well I'll let you I'll stop talking now and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the uh, demonstration okay don't forget to click like and subscribe thank you very much <laughs>